Kyoshi's inner wounds become overt, forced to relive the end of the world each night, and with a great deal of his sense of self based on information contradictory to the truths he has recently uncovered, he is struggling to summon the will and fortitude needed to overcome the cost of his purchases in the first place. The cracks have merged into a web, and he is caught in it. He is seated at a lower table with Moshi Amaka as safeguard leaving Matsu Kenshin with neither his spiritual advisor nor his scholar during this critical meeting. The heroes get to business. The people in the land of Nahuatl are dedicated to their god, Quetzalcoatl. Education is public and tied directly into the religion as a primer for priesthood. Nearly all citizens carry the curving knife of a priest. Though individual talents and expression are deeply valued, nothing comes close to the importance placed on community. Questions regarding the historical elements of the ceremony and the High King turns out to be an exceptionally touchy subject. While discussing upcoming events, we learn about the Makshino and the Teamsters, those who were booing when the barge first arrived. The religious fundamentalists called Makshino are underscored as a sore spot, as one of them is thrown out of the party via the nearest window. The dock workers openly call the docks are far Kambili. Because the task required of the national leaders divides them during the week of preparation, the heroes also divide. There are too few to safely attend all three, so the party breaks into two groups. Magistrate Matsu Kenshin retains his Yojimbo Kisho and his scholar Moshi Amaka to attend him in the city. Moshi Asa, Togashi Kichiro, and Shinjo Kiyoshi are joining the High Priest Itzli as he makes the final ring route to collect tribute and perform the ceremonies of the land.